ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ارسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا الى الله باذنه وسراجا منيرا اما بعد فان خير الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار اعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم من همزه ونفقه ونفسه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به ولا رحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما All praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I praise him. I thank him. I ask him for his aid and help and I also ask him for his forgiveness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of us. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshiped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created Adam alayhi salatu wassalam from clay without mother and without father. and also who created Isa alayhi salatu wassalam without father this is the will of power and power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he can create whatever he likes in whatever manner he wishes and i also bear witness that muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is allah's slave and his last and final messenger he is the prophet all the prophets who came before him they all spoke about the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam prophet musa alaihi salat wasalam he spoke and he gave glad tiding of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam prophet isa alaihi salat wasalam he also indicated about the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he told his people that a prophet will come who will inform you many more things which i would not be able to do so and that was the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentioned in quran in many places so may allah send down his peace and mercy upon him his household his companions and upon all those who follow the footsteps of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam I advise to all of you including myself to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you should be feared. Dear brothers and sisters, today after a long time we have a unique Jum'ah that with us there are many people who wish to perform the Salatul Jum'ah but they couldn't because of their work, because of their studies, because they could not get the time off. But today the day of Jum'ah and holiday. So those people fulfill their desire today. They come to the masjid, the masajid of Allah and they stand there and they pray there and listen to the khutbah. And we can see many children over here. The same reason they have the holiday. And this holiday is on Jum'ah and they all are here listening to the imam and performing the salat. But what is the purpose of this holiday? Why this holiday is there? What is the history behind this holiday? Is it somewhere linked to Islam and Muslims? Have you ever thought about it? If you look at this holiday, this holiday of today is known as Good Friday. According to the beliefs of the Christians that this Friday Isa alayhi salat was salam was crucified he was hanged and then he was put into the grave or into the dome and the story many people knows who went to the schools 
But who is Isa alayhi salatu salam? Is he the prophet of the Christians only or is he the prophet of Islam as well? So this is the opportunity to all of us that we should learn about Isa alayhi salatu salam, the correct perspective which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed about him. The correct knowledge which the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has told us which not only in the books which not only the fact but also it applies to your mind and intellectual. So first of all, Isa alayhi salatu salam because of him there is a holiday today. So he is the prophet of Islam. He is one of the great prophet of Islam. Not only a normal prophet, but a great prophet. And every single individual, every single Muslim must believe in Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. It is part of his iman. If you do not believe in Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, he would go out of the circle of Al-Islam. So this is the fundamental belief that Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is the prophet of Islam. So not only we, but we have to teach this to our children very clearly that Isa alayhi salatu wasalam is the prophet of Islam. He is our prophet. We believe in him. And we believe in him more than what the people claim that they believe in Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Let's move forward. What else we believe about Isa alayhi salatu wasalam? Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed many verses in the Qur'an clearly speaking about Isa alayhi salatu wasalam and what a Muslim should believe and what a Muslim should not believe. So first of all, Isa alayhi salatu wasalam's birth. Isa alayhi salatu wasalam's birth was a miracle. Why it was a miracle? Because normally for a birth, you need a company of male and female. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Isa alayhi salatu wasalam without father. He was born to his mother without the part of his father. And this is the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala performed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has shown in Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Many people at that time, they blame the mother of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, Maryam alayhi salatu wasalam. They slander at her. They call her names. They made her a dirty woman. And they spoke clearly about her. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed many ayats in the Quran. Clearly stating that this woman, Maryam alayhi salatu wasalam, she is the pious woman. She is the pure woman. And it is only Quran. The book revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the last and final book, it has a complete chapter with the name of the mother of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, which is Maryam alayhi salatu wasalam. A complete chapter in the Quran to honor her, to respect her. And this whole chapter in many other chapters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about Maryam alayhi salatu wasalam. That she was the pious woman. She was the one who used to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And what she did, when Isa alayhi salatu wa salam was born, she took him to the people. And now on the miracles of Isa alayhi salatu wa salam starts. A miracle which nobody spoke about except the Quran. That Isa alayhi salatu wa salam among those child, child, among those children who spoke in their childhood, not only in childhood, in their, when they were very little, very 